Hi, this is Dr. Tony, and I'm looking forward to seeing you this weekend. I wanted to kind of preview something we're going to talk about this weekend, and that is how people gain weight. There's a law in physics. One of the laws of thermodynamics that says that you just can't make energy out of nothing. Somehow, you've brought energy into the body in excess, so your body started to store it. Now we measure energy in calories, and your food has calories, and your body is storing calories, as we just said a moment ago. And so I want to tell you what a calorie is. A calorie, according to Webster's Dictionary, is a unit of heat, a unit of energy that is in something and transferred from one thing to another. So an apple has 100 calories, and if you put that apple in your body, you now have a little more energy that you can either use for something or you can store it, and we would rather use it than store it. So that leads to uh, charts that look like this that say, hey, an apple has 100 calories, and you can burn that kind of a fuel by doing some sort of exercise. You see energy coming into the body is either going to be stored or burned. Here's how you burn it. Notice that something big like this would uh, take a lot longer and a lot more exercise to burn off. So we measure food and its energy content in calories, and we measure activities in calories, our ability to burn it which has led to a rule that everybody has followed. And that rule is simply this, eat less, burn more. And I'm not here to dispute the rule that says eat less, burn more, because it's pretty obvious that if you eat more, you're gonna start storing more, that's a certainty. But I wanna tell you about a misconception, and that is the idea that eating less is gonna make you be able to burn more. That also breaks the laws of physics. So the idea of trying to eat more and hope that you don't store it is foolishness. But the idea of eating less and hoping you're gonna somehow drum up energy to be able to burn, that's just as foolish as well. And in fact, when you eat less than you burn, there's a presumption that because in the past when you ate excessively, you actually stored it as fat, that if you eat less and you burn more, that you're going to believe that you actually could burn fat. And so everybody thinks if I eat a thousand calories, but I burn 3000, that I'm going to have 2000 units of energy that I'm going to burn that comes from fat. And I want to let you know that there is another fuel in the body and its name is blood sugar. And a lot of people think I'm eating less, I'm burning more, I should be burning fat and they can't burn fat. In fact, they're burning a lot of blood sugar and they're starting to notice that they start to have symptoms of blood sugar issues like forgetfulness or waking up in the middle of the night or uh, sleepiness after meals or waiting until they feel funny uh, to eat something, brain fog and more and blood sugar problems start to happen and you start to see high cholesterol with high triglycerides and, and America is headed into the pre-diabetic, diabetic, diabetic uh, everybody's going in that direction. In fact, weight gain and diabetes are both trending at about the same percentage. About 34% of Americans are currently obese and about 34% of Americans are pre-diabetic or diabetic. So everybody's assuming that if you eat less and you burn more that you're gonna burn fat and not everybody can burn fat. In fact, a lot of people only burn sugar. Could you imagine somebody who eats a thousand calories, burns 3000 and thinks that they should be burning fat. They see nothing come off their midsection and instead they're seeing their blood sugar drop dramatically. So that begs the question, how do we make the body burn fat? How do we make the body say, I'm going to burn fat so that I don't have blood sugar problems? Well, I wanna show you a, a word that you've heard before called metabolism. It's the idea that every cell in the body, and you have 100 trillion cells in the body, get fuels that come by way of the blood. And it's just like what we talked about a moment ago where you eat apples and it goes into your body and you have the opportunity to store it or use it. Here we're gonna take in some sugar by way of your diet or possibly burn some of your fat. You present it to your cells, much like when you go to the gas station, you put a nozzle inside your gas tank and you hope to put a fuel in there and hope that you can burn that fuel. Your cells are gonna burn sugar or fat and make energy. And every cell in the body is going to be able to make energy from your fuels. And that would be fantastic because you have to understand we're talking about the power of 100 trillion. Now this equation, has a name and it's called metabolism. Meta means change and we're converting fuels to energy so that every cell could perform for its creator, God. 
And, uh, and everyone is focused on this equation and says, we're going to do this by eating less fuels. And if you bring in less fuels, what would you expect to happen to your car? If you brought less gasoline to your car, how would it work? It would break the laws of physics if it worked better. Why wouldn't you focus on maximizing this engine? If you did, here's what would happen. You'd burn more fuels times 100 trillion, and wouldn't that be worth it? That's one of the topics we're going to talk about this weekend. We're going to talk about how God has designed you amazingly. We're going to talk about how to attain true health and overcome things like cholesterol and blood sugar and thyroid and many other things. We're going to talk about how to burn more fuels. We're going to talk about how to why people regain their weight over and over again. 95.4% people gain their weight over and over again. We're going to talk about how to rev up your metabolism, your ability to convert fuels to energy so that 100 trillion cells can work better. Your heart, your lungs, your muscles, everything works better. We're going to understand cravings and talk about how to stop them. And we're also going to talk about the things that stop people from burning fat. And I look forward to seeing you this weekend. God bless you.